Welcome to Vlogmas. Vlogmas. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Today is the day of my Christmas get together, and it's about 4:30 p.m. right now. I'm starting this vlog late because I've literally being go 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 this entire morning and day um this is like the first chance i'm getting to eat lunch right now um this morning i edited last night's vlogmas episode then i did a little bit more laundry so everything's a little fresh then i headed out and did some last minute shopping for things that i needed like platters vegetables dip sauces uh wine uh fruits for the sangria and all that jazz so i finally have everything all prepped and ready to go i just need to finish prepping myself because i still have bed head all i have is like some foundation on and a little bit of brow powder and that's it so i need to eat some food because i got the shakes because i've just been like hopped up on caffeine and a couple pieces of toast i had at 11 a.m so I need to do that, take an antihistamine because my allergies are out of this world as well, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I got going so far. You can probably see behind me right there. So I made this fruit platter. I actually went to Woolworths and Kohl's to see if they had pre-made food platters, like vegetable platters, and they didn't have any. So I had to buy all the ingredients myself and put it together myself and get platters from the dollar store. This one's empty and clean waiting for Jess because she's gonna provide the uh, meat and cheese platter. She's bringing all the stuff for that. And then I have my cookies that I got yesterday. And for the dip sauce in the middle of this one, I just have ranch. So I got cherry tomatoes, cucumber, broccoli, carrots, and celery, kind of like the classic with ranch dip. Then I have my plates all ready to go, my nappies, and then I also have my cups as well. I also got this like salad from Woolworths, so we can pick at that as well. I'm gonna have a little bit now. What is it called? Ancient green something salad? I don't know, it looked good and it was like reduced price, so I got it. Then I also picked up spinach dip because I love spinach dip. And then I also picked up guacamole because I love guacamole as well, they're my favorites. And then for my lunch, I'm gonna have a plum, some seaweed, and some fresh rice I just made. Just made some fresh rice and I'm starving. I actually have to eat really, really fast and then head out because Kyle forgot his keys at home and he works a late shift. So I need to drop off his keys so he can get back into the house after. And he also has a key on there that's his friend's for the gym that he borrowed and his friend needs it back today. So I have to go do that as well. This day is becoming so busy. Then in my fridge, I have the first portion of the sangria ready to go. I have a Pinot Gris in the tub then i have one apple one orange half a mango and then a ton of strawberries just chilling in there to get it going and everyone is bringing their own a bottle of pinot grigio or riesling that we're going to kind of throw into this giant bowl of mix just gonna eat my lunch right now so let me just show you guys how i normally do it so i have my rice and my kind of i don't know fiber salad right there and then uh, my seaweed snacks and this is a trick i learned in korea from my korean co-workers you take one sheet of a seaweed snack sorry my shaky hands that's what i get for not eating for so long and then you just kind of go like that over your rice and then pinch and grab a roll just like that and then you eat it mm -hmm. quite literally the best way to eat rice in the entire world i guarantee if you start eating rice like this you're gonna become addicted to rice because I became addicted to rice in Korea when I was eating like that that I had to stop because like rice you shouldn't eat too much of it too often but man this salad that I bought it smells really healthy and fresh mmm it's a really strong flavor though I got ready so fast I didn't even have time to style my hair I just put dry shampoo in it. Like, what is this kink? That's me sleeping. <laughs> so this is my outfit. I just quickly threw this on an under bra and then this red skirt that I got in Korea a long time ago, like two years ago. And then I got my reindeer antlers on <laughs> and it's time for my Christmas party. Everyone's gonna be here really, really soon. 
and I'm super excited, super anxious, because <laughs> I'm not too sure if everything's perfect yet or not. And it's really windy on my balcony today, which is actually kind of eking me because I really wanted everyone to go out and have fun on the balcony, but if it's gonna be super windy and then we're all just gonna blow away basically. So I need to get my red lips on because that's always my rule for Christmas party. I did that as the rule for last year's Christmas party that I threw in Japan with all my friends. Everyone had to wear red lipstick was the rule, so we're doing that again, but I don't have mine on yet. I'm just gonna do the Jeffree Star one in unicorn blood. It's what I've been doing for a lot of the vlogs, even though a lot of you guys hate it because I don't know why. I've never had anyone on my channel ever in all the seven years that I've been doing YouTube hate red lipstick. So I don't know what's up with my new audience, you guys. If you're new to my channel and you're not used to seeing me in red lipstick ever, or you weren't around for the previous years, then get used to it because it's December and December is all about red lips and red and white and green and <laughs> Christmas. So let's get excited. I'm pumped. My sangrias are ready. At least I think it's ready. I just poured one pitcher. The rest is in the fridge. Cups are here. We're ready to go. No, 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 we're not sitting down. <laughs> so Jess is hey. here and Ken. They've actually been here for a while and we just haven't filmed in a long time. My lipstick is coming off and I need to powder my face. I'm looking like a disaster. Oh God. No, no. <laughs> it's been a while. The sun's going down. We are sitting on the balcony, having a few drinks. Everyone's here and it's a good time. It is a great time. We're having a good time. Mm -hmm. Welcome to, wait, let's do an intro. Okay. Vlogmas. I love how we all have antlers on. This is the best yes, investment of Christmas. my life. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. <laughs> so I'm telling Jess about how I epilate my leg and arm hair. We're gonna give her an experience of a life. No, God! <laughs> Come on, girls! We're doing it. We're doing I'll it. Hold the camera while you I'm like terrified. We're doing right it. Now. We're gonna epilate Jess's leg hair. <laughs> I have no leg hair though. Oh, well, do you have arm hair? I have arm hair like on my forearms. Like, all right. Oh, girl, you're gonna experience. Is this what we came? The experience of a lifetime. Oh, no, no, no. This is. Oh, she's gonna have such a good time. I guarantee you're gonna want to buy one and invest. I like, I feel you're so good. My hair is already. That are you gonna be emailing people? <laughs> I'm gonna put my camera down. Oh, yeah, you are. Otherwise, I'm gonna scream on my. How long is your arm hair? <laughs> uh, well, I've like, like, never ever done anything to my arm hair before. Oh my god. See, the thing is, if you do one arm, you, you have, have both, like, right? no arm hair. Mm -hmm. you, have, you have less arm hair than me. Is it a lot? Yeah. That's okay. a little. Great to No! I'll do it. It just feels like little zaps. Like little perfect. little zaps. Well, you can try it on my like a little bit longer one. Oh, it'll break yours. It looks like a like a little like fast razor thing. Fine. I can see the hairs coming out. No, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. See, it's fine. Because you don't have as much as me. You'll be fine. You Trust me. me. Yeah. <laughs> Just get prepared for a little, like, little, like... Can you do a little bit first? So I yeah. Like, I'll, I'll hold it in right. one spot. I'm scared. I'll though. hold it in one spot. Oh, my God! <laughs> Like a flick. 
making like a million little flicks everywhere. <laughs> and a million. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> this is so weird. Ow! Ow! It does actually really. <laughs> Imagine doing that to thick. But now look how soft it is there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's so, <laughs> it's so soft, right? It's worth it. You get used to it so fast. Cause like the first time you epilate, the roots aren't used, like they're the thickest they've ever been. Like, so like mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the thickest your roots are ever going to be is the first time you do it. And then oh, after I that, see a yeah, there's a yeah. huge difference. Yeah. For me, my hairs are too fine. It breaks them usually. And then it plucks out a few, but oh, it's so soft. But what happens when it grows back? How does it thinner. grow? Thinner. So the thinner. root the root is weaker and the hairs are thinner. So, so it's not like shaving. So the next time you epilate after that, it's not nearly as painful. Okay. It's so good. I highly <laughs> recommend. <laughs> so what now I just have like a hairless patch on my arm? You can't even see it, girl. You have like no arm hair. <laughs> so we've gotten to the point of the night where we're gonna pop the passion pop. This brings back memory. <laughs> we're making Ken do it. Dedicated, right. but right. Jess is helping. Oh no! <laughs> Do it outside! Do it outside! Yes! Don't aim it in here! <laughs> Twist! There it is! Yes! Where's your cup? Where's your cup? This is my cup. <laughs> Alright, baby's trying out Passion Pop. It's a rite of passage. Let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it really a rite of passage? Is it? It's like when you're 16, baby. <laughs> it smells like pure sugar. <laughs> smells like soda water. It smells like high school. <laughs> tastes like high school. <laughs> Like so, so sweet. I'm glad we saved this for the end of the night. <laughs> Jess is the sweetest. She got everyone little Christmas gifts. Let's open it up and see what it is. So kind of her to do that. Oh my god. This is stunning. They're like glass crystal coasters. Oh my god, girl, this is absolutely beautiful. <gasps> Where did she get these? These are total goals. Oh, so cute. It's like the most adult gift ever, but like my entire get together was like the most adult thing ever. Oh my god, thank you. <gasps> I love it. Hi, it's the morning after my Christmas get together that I had. I forgot to end the vlog and I just kind of didn't because everyone left pretty late. I would say at 2.30 a.m. Uh, so I ended up just literally cleaning up real quick and going to bed after. It was too, too much fun to end the vlog properly, but it was such a fun night and like, I didn't really get much footage from it and I don't think anyone else really did because we just literally chatted and caught up the entire night and got drunk together and had fun. So yeah, it was nice to kind of just do that instead of, you know, focusing on, you know, work and filming and getting content because I feel like um, when you have groups of friends like that, that where everyone's a content creator, the majority of the time that we would see each other was at events um, so getting us all together in a situation where we didn't have any obligations to film other than our own was so nice and refreshing. Like it's always refreshing to do that. So everyone had a lot of fun. We ate all that food basically except for a few little leftovers. And um, I'm really happy everyone could come over and enjoy the event and enjoy my apartment and just have fun and let loose together and have a nice time. So yeah, it was a really, really good night. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It was just a really, really good night. And if you guys are wondering what's up with my face mask, I just did spot treatment face mask on areas where I've been breaking out a lot recently because I've been wearing uh, foundation every day for the vlogmas so um i have a few little breakout problems trouble areas here is always a trouble area for me here is a little bit and then here is a little bit from time to time but my biggest trouble area is always this one part inside of my face even though i don't always sleep on that side of my face i still 
consistently break out and get clogged pores there. It's really interesting. But yeah, for today, um, I'm going to film another Vlogmas video, but I don't really know because I'm just working and editing videos today, so we'll see what happens. But I'm going to end the Christmas get-together Vlogmas now, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't scheduled a Christmas party with your friends, I definitely recommend doing it. It's a lot of fun to just have guests over and play Christmas music and stuff. So definitely recommend it if you haven't planned one for your friends. Try it out, or even with your family or relatives and siblings. It's always a good time for cousins such a good time yeah so thank you guys for watching thumbs up this video if you enjoyed seeing my little christmas get together uh let me know if you've done one already for december or if you have one on the go in your books let me know as well remember to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to see daily vlogs of my life throughout december and then regular vlogs on this channel yeah i love you guys so much and i'll see you next time bye